So with the help of playlist, you can get lakhs of views and also watch time. Just to give you an example from my channel A2C Arts and Crafts. So you could see this is the playlist and uh, it has gained over 7,92,000 plus views and 26,000 watch hours. In this video, I'm going to tell you how exactly you can create a playlist with the help of your laptop or your cell phone as well. I'm also going to explain the best way of using playlist in 2023. Let's get started and welcome to Shri Ram Benon channel. Now here is the first option on how to create a playlist. So log into your YouTube channel and click on the channel icon and then go to YouTube studio. From YouTube studio, just click on create and then click on create new playlist. Please note one thing. If you are not in creator studio and if you try to click on create, you will not be able to see this option. You have to be in the creator studio to get new playlist option. Now just click on new playlist. Now give a name. So I'm going to give a name for this. I'm going to give it as a DC motor DIY science project. Okay. So let me copy this and put it here. Okay. Now make uh, the visibility as public while giving a name for uh, your playlist. Make sure even the name is also searchable right now. In this case, if you see DC motor DIY science project is actually a searchable keyword. So that's how I'm keeping the playlist name. So that if somebody is searching, your playlist can also come in the search. Then click on create. The moment you create, you will not be able to find it here. So for that, please go to content section and go to playlist. Now here is where you are seeing that you see here DC motor DIY science project. So just click on edit. Now please add a description to this. So let me just add a description here. Okay, and let me paste it here. Okay, and save. So let me, I have just added the description. Let me just click on save. So now we have created a playlist. Now let me tell you how exactly you can add the videos to the playlist. So again, one more thing to understand when you're giving a playlist description, again, it should have a lot of keywords. So just to give an example, now if you see here, DC motor science projects is a keyword. Okay. So DC motor hacks is a keyword, useful DIY homemade tools is a keyword. So the whole idea of uh, doing this is with respect to SEO, even your playlist can come in the search. Okay. So that's how you are going to do this. Now, once you do this, you have an option here where it says uh, add videos. Okay. Then you have collaborate uh, playlist settings and delete playlist. So first let me tell you how to add a video. And after that, I'm going to explain other things. Let me just click on add videos. There are three options for you to add videos. One is where you can search for the video. Now say for example, I'm searching as A to C uh, uh, bike. Okay. Example. So I can just uh, add this. Okay. So this is how you can do as a one step or again, I'm going to tell you the other step. Click on add video. You can directly place the UR put the URL of the video which you want to add and third option is you can directly choose from your videos okay which is there in your channel now say for example I'm just going to go down and uh, let's say I'm going to include this you just have to click on it okay you don't have to do anything you don't have to hold the control button nothing like that just keep on clicking on it okay say for example I'm going to select that and I'm going to select this then click on add videos now, if you see all the videos have been added here. Okay. Now the first video in the playlist, that image is going to be set for the playlist. Okay. If you see here, this is the image that is set. Now say, for example, now you don't want that to be set. You want maybe this one to be set. Just click on three dots and you have as set as playlist. So just click on this. So that becomes a thumbnail for your playlist. You can also Keep changing the order of your videos. Just you can move it up or down or something like that. If you want, if you want to do that, you can do that. Again, uh, if you click on three dots, if you want to delete any of the uh, videos from the playlist, I'm saying delete the video from the playlist. It is not going to delete the original video. Okay. So <laughs> just click on remove uh, from this playlist. It is going to remove as well. So these are the options that you have. Now that you created the playlist. Okay. Let's understand the other features that are there. Again, when you click on three dots, you have something called as collaborate. 
Now say for example you also have a similar creator uh, whom you know and maybe you both want to add your videos to the same playlist. In that case you can select this. Collaborators can add videos to the playlist. Select yes. And you get this URL. Copy this URL and send it to the creator who is going to add the videos into your playlist. Okay. And then just click on done. So I don't want uh, any uh, collaborators here. I'm just going to click on done. Now that's the first option. Second. You see something called as playlist settings. Very important. Allow embedding. Now, what is allow embedding? Can somebody take your uh, playlist URL and put, the, put it in their website? Okay. See, uh, this is a good option. If somebody is going to put your playlist, okay, and whatever views are going to be generated from that, you are going to get the views. So, it's always good to keep that as allow embedding. Okay. Uh, next, add new videos to the top of the playlist. See, by default, when uh, you add a video to the playlist, it gets added at the bottom. If you want the video to be added at the top, you can select this. Next is set as official series for this playlist. Say, for example, you are a person who is creating the tutorials. Okay. Let's take for an example, you are creating Java tutorials. So you do it as a video one, video two or tutorial three, four, five, six, something like that. Okay. Now you want the same order to be there and it is something like, okay, you have set it as a complete learning series. In that case, you can mark this as official series uh, for this playlist, okay, where everything is in sequence. So, uh, one thing to make sure, uh, all the videos should be your own original creation. Only then you can do this. And one other thing that you should know, if you mark this as official uh, series, okay, and you will be having the videos, right? Say, for example, if you create one more official series, you can't have the videos in this official series in the other official series. Okay. See, exactly you can create other playlists and add the videos. But if this is official series, in other official series, these videos cannot be there. That's just for your understanding. So just click on done. Now, this is all about creating a playlist. Now, I'm going to tell towards the end how exactly and how effectively you can use the playlist to get great views. Now, let me also tell you the other options on creating playlist and then move to the other part. Now, the second way of creating a playlist. Now say for example, I'm going to click on any of this video. I'm going to click on this. All you need to do is from that video right at the bottom, you see these three dots. Click on save. Now it will ask you to which playlist to save. And it also has an option to create a new playlist. Now this is the second option for you to create a playlist. Okay. Now in the same way, if you're going to do from mobile, you can also do it in the same way. Let me just quickly show you how to do it from the mobile as well. Open the YouTube app from your cell phone and uh, go to your channel. Uh, click on any video. Then you will see an option where it says as uh, save. So uh, just click on that uh, save option. So there uh, it will ask you to which playlist to save or you also have an option at the right at the top to create new playlist. So that's the third way of creating a playlist. Now let me tell you the best use of playlist and how you can use it as well. Okay. While uploading a video. Okay. So again for test purpose, I'm going to uh, quickly upload a video here. Let me select upload video. I'm going to add a video now. So if you just scroll down, you again see an option here as playlist. So you can choose here to which playlist this video should be added. Now say for example, I just created a playlist. I can just add it to that. Okay. So I'm going to select this. Okay. And I'm going to click on done. Now say for example, you have still not created a playlist or you want to create a brand new playlist for this particular video. Okay. From this, uh, right. Again, you can just click on this and again, you have an option to create a new playlist. Okay. So from here also, you can create a playlist. So once done, just click on uh, next. Okay. So for now, I'm going to keep the monetization off. I'm going to go to next. You have end screens here. Okay. You also have the cards. So this is where you are going to give the playlist so that you get maximum views for the playlist. Okay. Now how to do that? I'm going to click on add and uh, say, for example, towards the end of this video, I'm going to click on playlist and select the one that I just created. Okay. So by this, what happens? When this video is coming to an end, when people see that, okay, in the info link, you are giving a playlist, when somebody clicks on that and watches, you tend to get higher watch time. 
the reason is you have multiple videos in that playlist okay so that's the advantage of it and one quick tip that i want to say while you are creating a video uh, make sure that you tell to your audience that okay please click on this info link to watch more videos see that's how you can get maximum views on the playlist and you can get great watch time as well okay so again you can have up to five uh, info cards okay you can add the playlist you can add videos and you can uh, do all these things okay i'm just going to do this just click on save now you have added a playlist in the info link okay you can also add it to the end screens so just click on add so select the elements now say for example i'm going to select uh, in this case something like this okay so uh, here i'm going to delete this and select as plus element playlist i'm going to select this okay so here is the playlist and again you can uh, add another playlist or you can add another video okay i'm going to click on uh, video here and next i'm going to select something like this when you put your playlist in the info card and also in the end screen it has high probability that okay people are going to click on that and watch so that's how you can get great views and in fact that's how i was able to get around 792000 views purely from playlist which is around 26000 watch hours now once you publish a playlist and once you start including in your videos let me tell you how to see what is the kind of views that you are getting okay let me tell you how to do that so to do that go to youtube studio okay now go to analytics in analytics click on uh, go to overview section and click on see more now if you see here you don't see any playlist here okay just click on more select playlist okay so now a playlist has been selected so this is how you see the views for each and every playlist now if you see here a to c top creations this has got around 3 lakh plus views so awesome dc motor cars has got around 1 lakh 82000 views so all these views are coming from either the end screens info cards or sometimes where people are searching for the video and directly the playlist is coming in the search so this is how you create a playlist and use it to the best way to get great views in 2023 if you like this video give a thumbs up and here is a video which can help you to get great views on your video not only that it can also help you to monetize your channel faster so click on this video to get three powerful tips on how to grow your channel thanks for watching i'm going to see you in the next video bye for now